Yo, what's up, family? Um, just wanted to give you a little bit of scripture. I'm on my lunch break. October 28th, the enemy. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Put on the whole armor of God. I can't stress this, my friends, because you're going to come across enemies in life. And most of the time, they're not going to believe in God. They're going to persecute you. They're going to mock. They're going to scoff. They'll make fun of you. They'll stalk you. They'll send their flying monkeys to stalk you. Maybe a large group of people. may just be a couple people. But put on the guard, you know, be on guard and put on your armor and, and stand before them. Because they're not going to prosper. Their evil ways are not going to get anywhere with you. Jealousy runs rapid with the wicked. I can't stress that either. Proverbs 27, 3, 4. Who can stand before jealousy? I mean, really. Proverbs 29, 8. Scorners set a city aflame, but wise men turn away anger. And we also have Proverbs 6, 34. For jealousy enrages a man, and he will not be spared in the day of vengeance. And there's also a scripture in Job. I believe it's Job 5, um, verse 1 and 2, I think. For anger slays the foolish man, and jealousy kills the simple Jealousy ain't going to get you nowhere in life, my friends. I mean, you can be jealous, you can be hateful, but in the end, you're going to suffer the wrath of God. So, you know, if people are doing what they're doing, you know, let, let them do. Let, let, let them hate. Because ultimately, they're going to they're gonna pay. It's not, it's not worth bringing your happiness down or, you know, especially if you're trying to get close to Christ and get close to God. You don't want to backbite. And I've, and it's hard, my friend.